Hi, I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to roast eggplant. Um, so all you'll need is your eggplant. I'm just doing half of one today, so I've sliced it halfway lengthwise. It's been washed. Um, also going to have about um, a tablespoon of olive oil and some salt. I have a baking sheet here lined with parchment paper. My oven is preheating in the back at 400 degrees, and I have this sharp knife here to start my process of salting. So the first thing that I'm going to do is salt the eggplant. That will help to, um, what am I trying to say, absorption. That will help to combat absorption. Okay, hold on. So the first thing that I'm going to do is salt the eggplant. Um, salting eggplant before you work with it um, helps to prevent absorption. Um, the eggplant, as you can see, is like a naturally, it's a very porous little guy, and we don't want it to soak up all of our olive oil and not use it for cooking on the outside. It also helps to absorb any of like the bitter juices that sometimes can come out. So how we are going to do this is, we're just going to cut diagonally this way. We're gonna make some like diamond like crisscrosses. So just slice, and you're slicing pretty deep. Um, obviously not all the way through the skin on the other side, but just slice, slice, sliced, and then turn. And we're just gonna do like these little crisscrosses. So see, we're getting these lovely little diamond patterns here. And just keep slicing. Okay, beautiful. So see, now you have all these lovely little diamonds. So what we're going to do is kind of pull it apart like this because we want to be able to look and see the insides um, of the eggplant because we want the salt to get down there too. So just kind of open it up, not too hard. You don't wanna rip it in half, but just kind of coax it open. And then we are just going to dust salt, start at the back, and just dust salt in as we go. So dust, 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 and just kind of open up. I mean, you don't want to like pile the salt in, obviously. You just want some to get in between the little crevices. So just open and salt, open and salt. La -da, da 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 pat down, there you go. Now what we're gonna do is set this aside for about a half an hour, um, and you may see some liquid start to like kind of beat up, and then we are just going to wipe it down. So I'm gonna let this sit for a half hour, uh, let the salt do its work, and then I'm gonna wipe it down and we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so it's been a half hour, I've wiped off my salt, and I've also just kind of squeezed it a little bit uh, to make sure any excess um, liquid that sort of like beaded or formed came out. So just make sure you wipe it down, give it a little squeeze, and now it's good for me to add my olive oil on. So I'm going to get my baking sheet here, and because olive oil can be a little bit messy, I definitely wanna make sure that I do it on top of the parchment paper. Um, so I'm just going to drizzle the olive oil now. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. And then I'm gonna use my fingers just to kind of like wipe it down to make sure it gets in there. And I'm just gonna kind of like, just kind of squeeze your fingers in and again, you're not like trying to make little rivers down there of the olive oil, you just wanna make sure that any exposed surface has a nice little glow of olive oil. Now we're gonna turn this upside down because it will roast cut side down, so let's flip it. And then I'm just gonna rub kind of the remainder on here. Do, 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 everything's like nice and oiled up. Okay, so now it's ready to go, it's ready to pop in the oven. So again, the oven has been cooking at um, 400 degrees and we are just going to pop it in, and we are gonna let it roast for an hour, and it will completely sort of become soft and kind of mush in on itself, and that's exactly what we want. So let's pop it in the oven and give it an hour. Okay, so it's been an hour, my eggplant is ready for me to take out of the oven, let's go pull it out. Okay, this is what a roasted eggplant looks like, beautiful. See, it's completely sort of caved in on itself, which is what we want. So that looks beautiful because you're going to just scoop out the cooked flesh. So see, you've got these roasted, beautiful little brown bits. And now you can either eat it out of here if you want, or depending on what recipe you're doing, you can just scoop out um, the cooked eggplant flesh. You can see that already some fell out because it's so deliciously cooked. So you can just scoop that out and then get going with the rest of your recipe. And there you have it, that's how you roast eggplant. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at requests at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.